Hello everyone, and you're gonna have to forgive me. In the last episode, I did a big stupid, and after the last mission that we completed, I was unable to save. And by unable, I mean my brain just didn't work. So the only thing that I had when I came back to the mission today, or when I came back to our save today, was the autosave. So I was like, okay, fine, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna do the autosave, we'll lose a few guys, and, and it'll be roughly equivalent. So I thought I'd show you guys the loot screen, but... Remember how we were RNG screwed yesterday? Well, today they loved us. We were able to literally kill five, I want to say five, raiders while taking 41 plus 38 damage. That's it. The entire thing. So I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Same thing I said last time. I'm really sorry if this screws things up. And if people are mad about it, I, I really do apologize. My other option was restarting the campaign from the beginning. But here we are. So we have the loot. We have a lamellar, or leather lamellar armor. We got a rusty mill coif. Everything else is pretty much the same. Some good money, food, tools, ammunition, etc., etc. So I, I think the big thing, obviously, is we originally w lost Wigald, Eberold, and Bodo. Was it Bodo that died? A Herman took a lot of damage. Our archer survived. I know Wigald and Eberold. Actually, Eberol didn't die. He got a knee fracture, and then Wigal did die for sh or did not die. He also got something. Warnhard died. But, all right. We got lucky. Hopefully, it's the only time this campaign that I do something stupid that I get then get to roll back because that goes against the idea of an Iron Man. But, I do apologize. We're just going to move forward with this. Anyway, we'll see you back in the campaign map after I save. Alrighty, guys. We are back. We have saved, and... Here we are. Let's keep going. Um, so we will go ahead and continue what we did yesterday. Um, I do want to reiterate, so uh, a couple of hours have passed since I made that, that kind of front video. I just had something to do. But if you guys want me to remove, I want to say it was, uh, was uh, oh, these three guys, Warnhard, Eberold, and Wigald. If you guys want me to remove them for whatever reason, um, just to maintain the integrity of the campaign, I am all for it. I, I'm not all for it, but I, I would be glad to do it because I know that that was, it was my fault for forgetting the save. But in any case, I just wanted to let you guys know that. So we will go ahead and take care of the level ups in the meantime, though. Bodo the Fisher, I can't recall what we were going to do with you. I think you had decent melee skill and melee defense. So we do that and then we probably push you up a little bit further in the, uh, initiative category or maybe HP I think what we'll do is we'll push you up in HP and then we're gonna give you what do we want because you're not gonna be with us long term I mean you're you're great you're good at the start but I don't know what we'll do for you long term so I think what we'll do is we'll just get you on student right now I'm gonna put uh, crash mob your trash mob. Uh, Wigald here is going to be a tank. So you are going to have. Let's see, three melee attack. You have terrible hit points. So maybe we do initiative here? No. I think hit points are probably whatever. We probably need to get this guy, um, Colossus, to be honest with you. And then we could up his. Range defense at plus four. I mean, that's just amazing. But um, maybe we could have him be a backliner. Go with that. I mean, the plus four is just great. So let's do whole arm crash. Because I, I think, like, as much as I like his defenses, it's it's gonna be a little tricky. So. Um, we will give him Colossus because he needs that HP. 57, even with Colossus, which is kind of crazy. Um, what's his wound right now? Melee skill. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Eberold here. You are going to be a two-handed tank, I think. Although you also have terrible hit points. So let's do this, this, and then this. We'll get you Colossus as well. Walrum, 
our ranger, of course, is going to be doing ranger-based things. How do we want to keep moving this up? You actually could be a thrower, too. So let's increase your melee skill here. And then we will give you fast adaptation, I think. Or did we give did we give these other guys bags and belts? Or crippling strikes, maybe. Maybe crippling strikes would be good. All right, and then Herman can level up as well. I forget what we were doing with you. We didn't specify. You, oh, you were a trash mob. So, yeah, we'll just do this. We just needed guys at the front. We'll give you student. All right, and we are good with that. Let's keep moving forward here to Markdorf. Get some good crowns. We do have uh, pretty decent supplies and food for uh, this current state of the campaign. Rebuilding. We don't have any, any special things, do we? No, we don't, unfortunate. But let's go ahead and see. Hold on. What are their tools running for? Expensive. That's for darn sure. Other than that, though, I think I would like to equip some of our guys here. So, Walrum here, the ranger, with 59 melee attack, is definitely setting himself forward for that pipe, to be honest with you. That's really kind of crazy. So, I think maybe what we'll do is we'll we'll put this in the back. Because he's down at 82, or... Yeah, 82 fatigue, but it's probably just fine. Now, Wernhard. You're going to be a tank. You have great defense. So let's tank you out. So you have 58 fatigue, which is not great, but that's okay. That pike thing is just amazing. I'll tell you what, that is great. We have a knife. We have some other stuff. Who needs some upgraded gear? Probably, probably you, actually. And then, do we have anyone that uh, could benefit from the hat? I think you could. Indeed, that is true. We also have a falchion, which we could utilize and probably replace one of those, uh, one of those clubs with. Rudolph the Poacher. I don't think I have enough money to afford someone else right now. So let's go ahead and head down to Sondheim. Or alternatively, shoot, we're supposed to get to friendly with the civilian faction, so let's keep moving here. One thing we could do, we could get some reinforced, uh, could get some reinforced nets here if we unequip that. I guess that's probably not a bad thing to have either, on an unrelated note. Get that. Perfect. So that's 100 gold, but I think that'll be worthwhile as we kind of work our way through here. Who do we want to have that? Probably you. And then... Full arm trash. Eberold the drunk. You're gonna be a tank. That's right. So if you're gonna be a tank, you're probably not gonna be focused too much on melee. What I'm curious though, you have a plus 10% chance to hit. Yeah, so that falchion may not be a bad idea to keep equipped on you. Because you don't have the best melee skill right now. Either way, let's take a look. They don't have any tools, unfortunately. Nor do they have any quests. So let's go down to Wiesenstadt. Go from there. These guys are uh, neutral relations, which is unfortunate, but just fine. Follow the tracks near Wiesenstadt. Return the rare coin collection. I think we can do this at this point, to be honest with you. Okay, a monk. What does a monk do for us? High ranged. High resolve. With a good resolve stat. He could be a fairly decent bannerman, actually. Do we have a bannerman? I don't think we do. So you have an almost max roll on melee. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this guy. We'll, we'll come back to him. We will come back to him. Let's also take a look at the brawler here. Max roll on melee. Max roll on fatigue with two fatigue stars. And max roll on... Okay, yep. We're taking this guy. We are taking that guy. I think we may actually take both of them eventually, but uh, for right now, that's great. So this guy is going to be getting some good gear. So you... Actually, you know what? Maybe what we could do is we could just put him in... Let's see. So he comes with decent stuff. Standard. 
give you... I don't want him to die too quickly, because he will. If I, if I give him even but a moment, he will die very quickly, unfortunately. That, that is the way. Yeah, I don't quite know what we're doing here with that, but that's okay. Go ahead and take a look at the retinue. Yeah, well, I had the money. Uh, follow the tracks. Okay, so we need to find out where these thieves are. I'm assuming they're thieves, yeah. Brigand thugs. Okay, that's fine. Would like to get out of there. Okay, perfect. So this is kind of a standard, standard fight. We can hopefully take good use of our archer here. 51% chance to hit. You know what? We could actually make you wait, and then we'll move here. Wait. Wait on you. I'll actually just hold you in position. Someone's confident. Friedrich is confident. And none of these guys have any ranged capabilities, so that's a positive too. I think we'll just wait on this turn. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. 59% chance. Who's the scariest of them all? Probably this guy. That dagger could be um, particularly dangerous for us. 55. The pickaxe could also be bad, but let's try and get that. Nice. Good job, guys. 42% chance. All right, let it be known that we have gotten the luckiest rolls in all of Battle Brothers. So, uh, 42, 42, 55, 59. All of those hit. I can no longer be salty when the game decides to RNG screw us. Until next episode. Um, but this episode, I still reserve the right to be angsty about it. Okay. Move you forward, do a... We're getting lucky, guys. We've hit every shot. <laughs> Let's go ahead and shield up on that. So this Falchion guy is going to come over. Okay, we've hit every shot. And we and they've missed every shot. Okay, never mind. I, I spoke too soon. Oh, no. Um, I spoke too soon. Okay, 57% chance. We can probably get you down. Excellent. 53... Okay. I'm never complaining about this game again. If this is what it's like, I can deal with this, you know? <laughs> I mean, I know they have bad melee stats, but still. That's crazy. Try and get him to stun. No, that doesn't work. Okay, it's fine. 61% chance. We do get the pierced chest, which is excellent. Really want to do that, and we can throw over you. Excellent. Excellent. He's having a bad day. We'll just keep surrounding. Okay, that was the easiest fight I've ever had. Um, 57 damage on Wiggle the Trash Bowler, but nonetheless, we got, uh, hey, we got the dagger, which is great. We got a short sword, also great. Some more spears. A flail as well. I do like a flail. Of course, this was a relatively early, or easy early on mission, which is great, but I think hopefully we should be getting a little bit happy uh, with Wiesenstadt, excuse me, here. A delivery. Okay. Bertwin and Volstadt in Volstadt, about a day to the east by road. Where is Volstadt? Volstadt's way over there, but that could be potentially valuable to us. You know, I think let's go ahead and, and, uh, and do that. How's tools here? It was a little expensive. Let's sell the club. The that. Probably sell this as well. Sell. Sell. We do need to equip that antidote. We could probably sell the pickaxe here as well. We want to keep the other stuff. Actually, you know what? We may want to get those repaired. Get that repaired. How much is that gonna cost us in tools? Seven tools in total? Okay, so yeah, we're we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Let's take this over to Wiesenstadt. Or over to, uh, from Wiesenstadt. And where are we going to? Nope. 
excuse me. Arbor. Bracken waiter or stole. Well, interesting. I guess that's just not really relevant, is it? Okay, moving on. This stole is not going to get us any closer. It's actually going to put us further behind. Not to mention we got to spend money to get there. A little bit dangerous right there, but that's okay. All right, and we gained 410 crowns here with the ability to do another. Deliver the cargo to Ingmar of Gemenshot, about a day to the east by road. Uh, I'm not quite interested in doing that, I suppose. But it might be worth a shot. Let's see, tools are necessary. Uh, we could look at getting some additional armor here for our troops. They are relatively low. We did get a level up here on Vernhard, who is tanky. He's going to be a tanky boy. Yes. Uh, what do we give him, though? Do we give him initiative? Was he going to be a dodge tank? I can't recall. I think we'll, we'll make him a dodge tank. In either case, we probably want to give him... I think I'll give him nine lives. We'll see. We will see, of course. Alright, what else can we do? Dye's a little bit expensive here. Wine. We could get the wine, but everything, everything appears to be a little expensive here. Um, which is okay. Not really that upset about it. That said, though, getting some padded surcoats could do a lot to keep our guys a little healthier, you know? I didn't mean to buy the padded leather, but hey, we're going to buy the padded leather anyway, I guess. Uh, <laughs> hey, someone's going to get uh, a nice little boost. Who do, we, who do we want, I guess, to get our boost here? Crash Mob, Friedrich. He's going to be swift, plus five range defense. Trying to remember who's going to do what here. I think Eberold is also going to be a tank, so we'll probably give him that. 65, he has, yeah, he has great fatigue. So he's going to be a Battleforge tank. Might as well take advantage of that while we have the opportunity. We'll get you the padded surcoat. And then Bodo, Trash Mob, Friedrich. I think Friedrich, you are probably the least Trash Mobby of our guys. So we'll go with that. And then, at this point, we should probably take the contract. So let's go over to Gemenstadt. And hopefully not run into any too terrible enemies there. Another one. Let's see. Another. Escort the caravan to Volstadt. Great. I'm down with it. And they take care of our food, too, which is phenomenal. Let's go ahead and sell that. And... We sell the knife too. Might even be able to sell the gossamer here, but not a big deal either way. Just trying to build up a little bit of money, build up a little bit of status as well, of course. And then we do want to get our relations to friendly. Better prices, better stuff. Papa John. Shipment. Another shipment. Altenholf. A day to the northeast. Where is that? I'm assuming that's right. I mean, that's not terrible. I just don't know if it's worth... Uh, 300 crowns, roughly. Yeah, why not? They keep, pay they, pay they keep paying for our food, and we haven't fought anyone just yet. And if we do fight someone, then we'll, we'll make use of it. All right. We move on. We are not going to raid stuff. Uh, it's not worth it. Making these guys mad. I don't know if that actually makes it mad or not. I haven't done that, but you know what? I, I just don't think it's it's going to be worthwhile anyway. So, let's keep going. Altenhof is now well supplied, which gives us 10% lower item cost and 15% more items for sale. Ooh, this is a big one. Markdorf. Oh, yep, we like that. We like that because we want to go back over there. Perfect. 
Oop, is that? Some brigand marksmen, some brigand raiders. Okay. It's on a hill and it requires that. Crumbling watchtower. Okay. No, no, no. Nope. Focus on Markdorf. Brigands. A few brigand poachers and some brigand raiders. Let's try and avoid them if possible. I don't really feel the need to fight them. What is over here? Many armored weeder gangers. Weeder gangers, whatever it is. Okay. The brigands are coming. The brigands are coming. Perfect. And we get a lot of crowns for that. Escort the caravan to Honau. Hoenau. See, which is right across the way here. And a good harvest. Ooh, yeah. Let's go ahead and wait until daytime. Hopefully these guys aren't still chasing me. It could be. You never know. Either way, great harvest allows us to get some good food here. So, spoil in 10 days, 7 days. There's no real reason to not get what we have, or what we want right now. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that looks good. Scram sacks, also available here. Let's see what we got. Full cart. Max roll on melee stats, great fatigue, athletic, and eagle eye. With three stars, okay. Hello, Battleforge tank. Rat catcher. Probably, I mean, you. I guess you could, eh, leader. Loyal, no, unfortunately not. Sorry about that. Let's see what you got. Crappy range base, but great melee defense. Decent, decent. Also athletic. Alright. BF tank. So I think what we'll do at this point is we will put you in front and then probably Wiggle's up polearm trash. So let's go ahead and put him in the back there with the other polearms. We'll do that. At least keep our guys relatively consistent here. And then, since you... Probably need something more than Lars here. Although, Lar now that I say that, Lars is going to take an arrow to the face and just, like, absolutely biff it. It's unfortunate, but I feel like that's just going to be the way that <laughs> that cookie crumbles. In either way, in either case, rather, uh, we're doing okay. Let's go ahead and keep moving. Did we look at you already? Yeah, we did. Athletic. So, nothing there. Excellent, though. We will escort the caravan. Wouldn't mind having a, a little bit of a fight every now and then, but, you know, this this campaign is actually doing... I'm, I'm jinxing it by saying this, absolutely, but this campaign is actually going fairly well. My pickaxe is repaired. Okay. Cool. I like that. 120 crowns and hoeing out is better supplied here. Another... Yemen shock. Okay. Which is going to be over there. We've already gone there once, so we can do that again. Let's just keep doing these contracts. They're relatively simple. We have good amounts of food. We have good amounts of tools. When we do find a fight, we'll be able to uh, be better equipped. I really do love this, this mod to have the, the pause on enemy vision, because that's what kills me. That absolutely kills me. Noxurus, five. I don't really see the value in killing these Noxurus, because it's not really helping us out. And it do okay, it doesn't look like they're interested in killing us either. That's okay. Good. I'm happy with that. Yemen shocked. Uh. Dream eaters. <laughs> uh. And the nightmares haunting Yemen shocked. Uh, that's. That's beyond my pay grade right now, unfortunately. However, we did achieve our ambition. So people are happy. We have gained approximately 543 renown, which is going a lot faster than the uh, than the Oath Takers campaign. I'll tell you that much. Not disappointed with it. 
A3 skull? I'm just curious. Follow the tracks, return the golden talisman. Yeah, no. I don't think we have the ability to take care of that, unfortunately. Very, very sorry. Now, on the flip side, armored weeder gangers and, and go geists over there. So that's probably a no-go. That is probably a no-go. But let's see what we have over here. A one skull. 350 crowns. Let's go for 370. Tilted stones. Sounds like a good deal. How are we doing on food? We're doing okay on food. We do... 22 provisions per day, so that's probably something we want to look into in the near future here. But in the meantime, how are we looking? Tools is cheap tools. Let's go ahead and take some bandages. They don't have any uh, netting, unfortunately. But, let's see, do we need any additional equipment? Right now, I think we're doing okay. Let's go ahead and flip you guys. So you guys are both running falchions. If we could get a shield, actually, a standard shield? No, no standard shields available. So, in that case, let's make sure that our guys have bandages, at least. At least the center line, since they're going to be fighting a little bit more. Tilted stones, let's see. So, we do want to, uh... Some ancient auxiliaries. Okay. So, we will be equipping our guys with non-spear-related stuff. I tend to forget about that, so... It's important that I don't in this case. And with you, go ahead and put you in there. We don't have any additional slings, unfortunately. That's okay. We'll keep you guys close. And then the pickaxe might be nice. Who wants to use the pickaxe? Does anyone want to use the pickaxe? What's the, uh, 16 to 33, or 37 to 74? Two armor. Mm. Probably going to be more consistent to get slashing shat, uh, shots off. Slashing shots. Don't know what that's all about. Alright, let's go ahead and move that. Some ancient auxiliaries. I bet there's seven of them. Six of them, it looks like. Okay. And we will wait on our entire brigade, actually. Our company, as it were. See, what are these guys going to do? So they're just moving directly forward. Okay, that's good. I'm happy with that. Resistance against ranged weapons reduces their chance to hit. Interesting. I was unaware of that. I assume that just uh, caused them to uh, take less damage. Could be wrong. The miss. Unfortunate. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and just leave as is. And then we will shield wall. Let them kind of move up on us, and then go from there. Okay. That's fine. And we'll wait, and we'll wait. We'll just be taking... So these, right, these things aren't really going to be doing anything except potentially doing some damage to, uh, to armor. Which is, which is realistically what I'd, what I'd be happy, uh, with. Oh, you're not having a good time, huh? Um, okay. Try and beat him over the head. 62% chance missed. Unfortunate. Okay, we'll shield up. We'll wait. For these guys are going to come. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, got the stun off on that one. So, this is a piercing attack. Yep, so that is both piercing attack. But, in this case, we're good. You have a buckler. So, in this case, I'm thinking we probably hit that guy. Kill him. I'll take it. Absolutely. Let's move forward here. 51%. Ooh, I'll take it. Nope. Doesn't matter. Okay. No worries there. We can definitely take those shots off. Get the stun. Or not the stun. Excuse me. The, uh... It's not a stun. I'm forgetting what it is. But, either way. Nice and quick. Ouchy. Off with the skeleton's head. <laughs> That's always interesting. Let's try and get a stun off on you. We do get it. 
That drops his guard as well, and we'll keep moving forward here. Excellent. I think you're just going to stay put. Yeah, I think you're staying put. Let's, uh, these guys are not very happy with us. All right. Four rounds. Very, very uh, simple as far as things go. Only 22 damage on the whole, it looks like. And we did get level ups on two of our rangers. In addition, we got 60 gold and some decent loot as well. I feel like this is probably... We've gotten very fortunate. We have gotten very fortunate in the way that this campaign is going. So Ellenberg now has high spirits, which gives us 5% uh, more profit, 5% lower item cost, and 10% more items per sale. Nothing at the taxidermist, unfortunately. That is fine here. Let's go ahead and sell some of this stuff, though. The, uh, the ancient household helm, we may actually keep here, but the ancient spear, ancient shield... Yeah, I think we got to keep those household helms. They're pretty nice for some of our guys. And tools are good. Provisions are going to be even better here. Is there anything that we want? Anything that we need? A hatchet? Maybe? Break down a shield? Probably not a bad idea. In any case, let's go ahead and take a look at the level ups here. Lars coming up with more ranged skill. I think we probably... Would we give him initiative or... Maybe a little bit of resolve would be good. And then for you... Let's go ahead and do bullseye. We'll probably do bullseye with you as well. Gunner. In your case, go up to 61. What a crazy amount. I really like that. I think we kind of did the same thing for you, but this time we're going to go with initiative. So I like that. And then anticipation is probably not uh, not a bad idea either, but I think we may end up going with rotation for these guys on the next turn, on the next uh, level up, so to speak. And then we'll go from there. We can sell this. We probably sell the buckler. And wouldn't mind grabbing this wooden shield so that we can trade Volkart, Battleforge tank off, uh, give him a little bit of a better chance here. Plus five melee defense, which is great. Uh, he also has, of course, athletic. So what a what an awesome Battleforge tank I'm looking at here. And we do need to eventually change out some of those things. So uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and equip you with uh, that helmet. Where's our other Battleforge tank? So you guys will be nice and ugly looking. Like that just doesn't even look natural, but that's okay. <laughs> that is okay. Let's see if there's anyone here that we want to hire. There is a messenger. What do you come along with? Good resolve. Decent, I mean, decent stats, but you're superstitious. You are loyal. Do have good uh, melee stats. Good fatigue as well. I mean, we could definitely use him. Let's see what these daytailers run with. Club footed. Yeah, that's a little rough. I don't think I can I don't think I can justify that. But you, my friend, fat. So you have plus 20 hit points. That dude is a tank and a half. Um Unfortunately, doesn't come with I mean, comes with good melee skills, but the stars aren't where I need him to be, unfortunately. So I think we are going to I could use him. I think we're going to let him go for now. Take a look at the armor and see if there's anything interesting in here. Closed mail coif would not be bad. It's only minus four maximum fatigue as well. Like that's pretty darn awesome, if you ask me. However, however, you know what? Cool. Is it worth it? Probably. Minus four max fatigue? Yeah, I, th I think that's worth it. So Friedrich. And Bodo. Probably gonna... So Friedrich seems to be on the center line a little bit more. And because of that, he's gonna be a little bit more protected by default. Let's go ahead and give that to them. Uh, Eberold actually may be in a better position to use this, simply because he has less fatigue. So let's do that. So that way he's still at 61 fatigue. It's just, just, it's just better overall. Uh, we can give you guys some of that basic uh, protective gear. 
what is this? This is 30, and that's 30 as well. Okay, sounds good. So, I mean, it's it's better than nothing. It's not uh, phenomenal, but it's it's good. Good enough. We have brigands. Some brigand raiders. Let's see, are these guys going to come to us? No, it doesn't look like they are interested. Okay, that's good enough. We have a good harvest. Excellent. That means we could have cheap food, which we always like. Is that 90? They do like, they do like. We'll get shrooms. Nasal helm would not be bad either. That boar spear would be quite nice, actually. All right. I think we're okay, though. Let's go ahead and sell this mouthpiece and probably sell the buckler as well. Do we need five spears? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, if we fight, end up fighting webnecks, that's probably not a bad idea. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look at this contract here. Delivery or 500 in total. The Vizier of Treasury. Okay, so that's taking down to the... Uh, what is that? Tanwar? Tanwar. Is there an actual way down there that's relatively easy to hit? Doesn't look like it. I may end up passing on that one. Just because it's a, a fair bit away. Okay, 300 gold for returning a demonic statuette. Okay, I'm co color me interested. Following the tracks. And we have our next ambition. Okay, I think we I think the next one is going to be uh, 12. 12 men because we're already at 10. And that's going to be a relatively simple thing to get to anyway. But, ooh, some brigand thugs and a brigand poacher. Yeah, we can take that. Two arms, a simple crew of vagabonds, and a poacher. So we'll try and take down that poacher as quickly as possible. It looks like he's only running with the sling, which is good for us. Is very good for us. We'll wait on you. Wait on you. And we'll get you guys close. I think we'll leave you as is for right now. Love to see that guy move forward a little bit, but don't want to be too hasty about it. Uh, we could probably move up and start doing our assaults here. 67. That club is a little painful. I am a little concerned about this guy. That's probably my least favorite guy on the uh, on the board right now. Okay, excellent. We'll wait. Yeah. 25% chance. 55. Yep. We'll miss the 55, but that's okay. Someone's died. <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario, I end up hitting these other guys, which is fine. Really not worried about that. We will wait on you. Let's see, who do we want to hit? Probably want to hit you. Because you're already wavering. You're not having an issue. Now you're wavering. And now you're dead. We like that. Ouch. Good headshot, though. And that is why we keep the, uh... Why we keep good armor. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. Okay. 32% chance. Take those shots, at least. Off with his head. Ooh, ouch. Ouch. Double ouch. Okay, well, now you can't do that anymore, can you? Shoot. All right, well, let's go ahead and move forward. 57, 57. The pickaxe is going to be a little concerning here. 32% chance I'll take that shot. Excellent. Pierced leg muscle, so that's not the greatest thing that we could have gotten, but still worthwhile. Take that shot, take that hit. We miss it. We do get the stun, though, which is good. And he's down. Try and hit that guy. We miss. That's okay. Come on, boyo. You got it. Run them down. Run them down. Okay, let's get in. Let's get in on that action. And we're done. All right. Took a little bit of damage. 
Uh, particularly on Volcar, our Battleforge tank. That was, uh, that was a little rough. Got a broken nose, uh, but that's okay, on the whole. Open leather cap. We did get the woodcutter's axe as well, and a reinforced wooden flail. We could potentially use that here on some of our, some of our guys. I'm not quite sure if we'll be running towards the flails, but they are super fun. So, 230 crowns. Let's take a look at what we can sell, what we could potentially use. Uh, for you, we'll take that. Upgrade you. We can definitely upgrade you as well. Sell those clubs. Sell the flails, I think. Yeah, I think we will sell the flails. There's probably no reason to keep these two-handed weapons either at, at the current moment. Let's sell that. Sell the pickaxe. Sell these guys. We may end up keeping this staff sling just for some additional like value for our rangers when we're fighting against the uh, the undead. In particular, that's probably the best place for us to use them. At 905 gold, what could we utilize? We could use a cleaver. We could get some daggers so that we could potentially get some armor from these uh, from these raiders. That might be valuable as well. But I don't want to pay 223 for it. I'd rather just collect it. Although it's kind of kind of a beggar chooser situation, you know. Don't know. Don't know. Let's go ahead and get some ale here for our for our troops. And then I think we'll we'll pass on that. Let's go ahead and, and look and see if we can hire anyone interesting. We don't necessarily need them to be super like good, just interesting. Ooh, interesting. I say that. Alright, so a high initiative, fatigue, optimist. Plus five morale or resolve, but one minus one vision during nighttime. This guy is interesting, actually. That's interesting. Okay, and this guy is Spartan. Decent, not great. His stars are in the wrong spot. I'm gonna say thank you, but no thank you. And let's see, what do you have? You are a dastard. So, as as much as I like your two stars. Your other stats are decent, but that's going to be a no-go for me, unfortunately. So let's hire you, because we need to get up to uh, dodge. Can, can we, uh, so dodge tank. What do we have right now? So we need, we have a trash mob, two battle forge tanks, and a dodge tank. So we need to start getting some really good uh, melee guys. In the meantime, though, let's consider... Oh, no, no, no. So you're gonna be a dodge tank, but for right now... I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. You have pretty crappy everything, so maybe you just kind of sit in the side and spear up. I don't know. I don't know. We'll work. We'll work on that. In the meantime, let's go ahead and level up here. Wiggle, pull arm trash. Yeah, your your melee skills leave much to be desired, but we will continue to work on that. Let's go ahead and give you the gifted perk. I think gifted is going to be very valuable for all of these trash mobs. Excellent. Herman, in the same boat, we're going to give gifted here. Actually, let's let's level him up first. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's. Good. Uh, we can get the resolve up a little bit. Let's give you gifted. It could probably range defense. Fatigue. Yeah. That'll be okay. That will be okay. Eberold here, our battle-forged tank. Go ahead and give you that. Give you some fatigue. And... Ooh, between the two of these. I feel like that's going to be a little bit more valuable. Um, all right. So the other question is, do we get you a steel brow? Do we get you resilient? Um, hmm. Actually, you know what? Probably recover would be good. As you are going to be in pretty heavy duty armor here. Friedrich, I don't recall what we were doing with you. Don't, I don't recall. I, I truly don't give you that? Do we give you... I mean, maybe we just use you as a trash mob right now? Like a trash melee? 
case, good range defense. Go ahead and do that. And then... Maybe we... I, I don't I don't quite know, guys, to be honest with you. If you have any thoughts, let me know in the comments down below. And I can, I can figure that out. But uh, you guys gotta help me a little bit. Uh, Bodo the Trash Mob. Let's improve your initiative. Let's improve your melee defense. And then since you have that one with melee skill, it's just not great. Um, let's go ahead and give you that. So you're going to be a little tanky here. We'll increase your melee attack, melee defense. And I'm thinking probably on the initiative front here as well. Okay. We are good to go. Let's go ahead and don't want to take this. But I keep looking at it because I keep thinking about it. Let's go back to Sondheim. See if we can get anything good there. As far as a good quest. Um, ooh, interesting. Escort the caravan to the northeast. And it's a local holiday. Okay, let's wait until morning. Let's wait until morning. Let's see if there's anyone here that we can hire. The brawler. Brawler, what do you got for us? Phenomenal fatigue. Good melee stats. Good range defense. You could be a backline. Pole arm. Okay. That's, I mean, that's... That is eight stars. Holy cow. Okay. Let's see if we can find, uh... Find maybe a... A pitchfork for you. That'd be nice. I'll give I'll give one of you a pitchfork. The other one is gonna is gonna scum it along with uh with the uh, spear. So sucks to suck, um, but here you are. All right, and then that will be that ambition fulfilled as well. Let's go ahead and take this caravan contract. Everyone's happy. We may end up needing to. Uh, uh oh. Bickering with the locals. Yep. All right, thank you. Nope, don't want people to fight right now. Although, we could potentially raid these fields. Just a thought, right? If if some if we don't do it, someone else might. You never know. All right. Interesting. Okay, so... Pay a visit to every settlement, far and wide. Or a battle standard. I think a battle standard is going to be valuable right now. So, we do need to get some money up here as well. Let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, we're minus six. Who didn't get paid? <laughs> Who's angsty that they didn't get paid? It was you, Weedekind. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry, Weedekind. You did not get paid. Go ahead and, and uh, sell a little, a little bit of that. See if we can uh, do anything in the future here. Could potentially sell that beer. If need be. Because we do pay 126 crowns per day. But we're almost there. We're almost there. And we get 750 for this. We didn't pay anything, which is great. So let's keep going over. We'll go back over to Aldenhof. Get some money. Excellent. No quests here. We're just going to keep making money, though. We have to. We have to keep doing that. Like, I know we haven't fought a whole lot. And I apologize. Truly, I do. Um, It's just, it's worth in my opinion, stacking up. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And then... Cargo. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Brookwall. Where is Brookwall? That's way up. Oh, so we could... We're going to have to go all the way around here to Markdorf and everything. Um, I actually really like that idea. Let's go ahead and take this. And then this will probably be the last thing that we do today. Uh, we'll, we'll save until the, the next time to continue more stuff. They have nightmares, which is great. I, I'm not interested. In Let's see here. Any decent stuff? I'm looking for potentially a ranged guy. No. No ranged. Sure footing, though. That's potentially really great for a defender. I need, I need guys that are good on offense. I need guys that have, like, 90-plus offense. And I haven't really found a whole lot of them, unfortunately. Ooh, Orc Marauders. That's not great. Nope. Whew. Okay, not that we were going to be able to do anything about it, but I have a feeling it was probably 
um, uh, goblins. But nonetheless, nonetheless, probably just better that we don't fight, right? <laughs> in any case, we got uh, a potential thousand crowns coming in here for relatively minor work. Of course, I do prefer that they... Oh, 15 tools and supplies. I do prefer that people... Oh, nomads, interesting. But I prefer that people fight us during the daytime as we do have uh, some really, really good rangers. Of course, one of the things that uh, has been helping us was the tremendous luck we've received today. And <laughs> I cannot... I think this is probably the luckiest I have been. Some orc young and an orc berserker. Okay. I said that. I said that, guys. And now I'm going to pay the price. All right. Let's let our glorious caravan hands soak up some of that damage right there. We'll see how we end up doing this. But if we come through with this, it'll be really good for us. Okay, these guys are moving a little bit. I would love to get our slinger up there. Okay, the orc young, of course, very terrifying. Um, going to do some absolute work on our boys here. I think we will move Gunner back. Let's wait on you. See what these guys got coming forward. And then who is the... That's the Berserker? Yeah, that's not great. So we need to kill that Berserker. Fast. Like, as fast as I physically can. 50% chance? I'll take it. Any shot that we can hit into that guy is going to be worth it. 54%. And another shot in. Excellent. Okay, so you're on a hill. Excellent. We like the hill. Okay. Let's let these guys move forward, do their thing. You just a little bit. And then probably move... Wait. Wait on these guys to move forward. I'm assuming they're going to come forward and hit these guys. The caravan hands might be a better target for them, considering that they're relatively closer, but I don't want to be too aggressive unnecessarily. That was a charge, yeah. Okay, charge, missed it. Stunned Eberold, unfortunate. Don't want to get that Wolf Berserker down. 50% chance, come on, help me out, guys. Actually, you know what? 54% chance. We still got to take those shots. We got to get him down. I feel like, I feel like Lord of the Rings, Legolas, bring him down! I don't really want to bring Guntram up right now. He's not gonna survive. Go ahead and wait. 27. Okay, you know what? Ooh, okay, dangerous, dangerous, but we can work with this. We can work with this. 62%. Get stunned. Okay, that's unfortunate. Can we stun ya? Probably not. 58% chance. Come on. Missed it. Hit the... Hit it, but didn't get the, uh, the stun up. Oh, I wonder if they're immune to stun. That may very well be the case. And if that is true, well, then that's a little rough. But... All right, so you are going to be moving back here. 70% chance to hit. We'll take that shot. 74, again, we'll take that shot. And you missed it. That's unfortunate. Who are we going to be going for? For you. 77, rolled an 83. Oh, that's rough. Go ahead and shield up. And then 80%. Yeah, might as well. Let's spear wall on you. I'm assuming they're going to come around here. That would be great if we can get something off on that. Okay. Excellent. Nice job, guys. Caravan hands doing some absolute work here. Berserker's still causing trouble. Oh, no. Lars is taking some damage here. Okay. We gotta get this guy down. 
We gotta get this thing down. Okay, if we could stun, that would be great. I don't know how quickly that's gonna happen, though. 64% chance to impale. 52% chance to hit. This guy's very wounded. That'll help us out tremendously. Excellent! And the Berserker is down. Um, Alright, we're gonna take out your dagger here. 35% or 49%? Ugh. I mean, it's not great, but it's something. Guntram, I'm gonna move you around and then we're gonna spear wall you again. Try and get a shot off. Nothing. Just throwing spears. We just gotta keep moving. If we could stun you, that would be great. I don't think that's feasible, but that's okay. Orcs may actually be completely immune to stunning. Now, I don't know if that's the case or not. Whoa, Lars, please stay alive. That's not. Come on, I believe in you. Whew, okay. Let's see, you are bruised, you are bruised. So let's keep, let's just try and keep doing some damage here. Let's see, we need a rotation. We really need a rotation here. That's what I'll tell you we need right now. He's running. 61% chance. Hit. Excellent, stabbed guts. We like that. And a 42% chance to hit on both of these shots. I will take it. That guy's almost dead. Can we get this guy down? Yes, we can. Let's shield up on that. If we can get that guy down. Excellent. It takes care of a caravan hand, which is unfortunate, but... Oh, you gotta get out of there, my, dude, my man. Okay, one bleed. That's okay. That is okay. We'll try and hit you. Now, I'm assuming these guys are going to be able to uh, sprint in on us, which is not great. But if we can get them down first, that would be phenomenal. So 69% chance to hit on this guy. Let's go ahead and hit that. And a 66. <laughs> Woo! There we go. All right. And Guntram, the dodge tank, doing the work of the gods here. You just about smashed your boy. Okay, you, with 11, a broken nose, and fractured ribs are going to be just hanging out right now. How's that? You're just going to be hanging out. You're not doing anything. This guy's a little angsty. Uh, Vernhart, do you have... I think we're going to leave you as is. 34% chance to hit. It's okay. Excellent. This guy's not having a good day. What's our chance of hitting? Well, it was worth a shot. Hit him. Hit him. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm happy about that. All right, so we took some good damage, but we didn't lose a single man. On top of that, we also got two level ups here, one on our Battleforge tank and one on our Ranger. And on top of that, they're all alive. Like, I don't know what else you want me to say. Everyone's alive. Look at that. That's amazing. All right. Uh, so we did get some strange meat, unfortunately. Uh, we got some good ammunition, tools and supplies, bundle of crude javelins, uh, and a bunch of stuff that we can sell. The head choppers are great. The berserk chain is going to be even better here. Um, yeah. I'm excited about that. That's some good money. Absolutely. Let's keep pushing. Let us keep pushing. And let's see, we have uh, six six tools. That's all we need. Dire wolves. Uh, I'm hoping. Oh, and brigands. Okay, so it looks like the dire wolves are not uh, not interested in us right now, which is just fine by me, if you ask. If you ask me honestly. All right. Sounds good. So let's go ahead and wait until the morning, and then we will we will call it a day here. Okay. Take 
take a look at the marketplace here. How are we doing? Well supplied is 10% less profit, so maybe we'll just save these guys for now. But it is a little bit less expensive to buy some stuff as well, too. So maybe we buy this padded leather. That's probably not a bad idea. 93 at 45%. Alternatively, we could get the full leather cap. Maybe a hatchet wouldn't be bad either. In any case, uh, so let's see. So tools and armor. Let's see how much does this cost to uh, how much does this cost to repair? I'm I'm just curious because I don't actually know the conversion rate on this. So it's gonna take three tools to get it down to or up from about seventy or fifty percent. So. I think we'll take this as well, and then we will take a unit of tools. Perfect. And then, is there anyone interesting here? No. No. And again, right now, I'm primarily looking for... I, I know these guys could be useful, but I'm primarily looking for some really good uh, melee units in the future. So, let's finish off the level ups here. Volkart, the Battleforge tank, coming in hot. Great fatigue, great melee defense. And uh, we'll probably level up your range defense as well since you're since you're here. Probably give you Colossus, I'm thinking. Just make you absolute tank lord, numero uno. Walrum coming up with the... Oh, I totally forgot about the pike here. We should have been using that the whole time. Goodness gracious, someone's going to be yelling at me in the comments. All right, 62, 56. What a guy. And we'll increase your ranged ability as well. I'm going to think on this. I am not going to spend this today. I'm going to think on this and figure out what I want to do with him, uh, with his abilities later on. But in any case, guys, that is going to be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you have any interest in having your name on one of these Battle Brothers and, you know, your particular role that you'd like to play, including something that may that you may want to tell me that you want. So if you want a dodge tank, if you want a, a specific guy who uses a handgun, I don't know. It's up to you. But feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Of course, as always, if you did like the content, feel free to like and subscribe. I would always appreciate that. Other than that, hope you guys have a good one. Bye-bye.